I'm going to repot this staghorn fern into this basket. And I don't really know what I'm doing. Hey everyone. So this staghorn fern is one of two house plants that I have a great affinity for. And I bought this from a small bat. It was in a small, uh, maybe four or six inch pot. And I've repotted it. Um, I think just once into this hanging basket. Maybe there was one time before this. I've had it for several years. I really like this plant a lot and I love staghorn ferns, but it is outgrowing this basket. But more than that, because they don't really need the basket at some point, they become semi self supporting. But this one doesn't really have much room in it. But this basket is all rusted out at the bottom. So it's time to move it into something. And during my research, the one thing I know about these is that they don't want to be in a container really. When you see staghorn ferns, they're like growing on a tree. So we are going to use this. Now this is called a Vanda basket for, I guess, Vanda orchids. I thought they were called orchid baskets until I started looking for one and realized you need to buy a Vanda basket. And it's apparently made from cedar or supposed to be. It's just slats. I'm sure you could make one yourself. I did not feel like doing that. So I am going to repot this today. Now I want to preface this by saying you should not follow me for houseplant advice. I am not great with houseplants, but I do take special care of this one. And uh, I've done a bit of research on how to do this. And that's basically the process I'm going to follow here. Now this fern is really quite dry because I haven't watered it for a couple of weeks in advance of this project. Um, and the first thing I need to do here is I'm going to actually have to cut the rest of this, I think, because I don't want to damage these basil fronds, um, all of which you leave on. They sort of die. Um, it helps feed the plant later on. So you never peel off these brown bits on here, but you can see we've got some around. So even though the bottom's coming off, I'm going to cut some of these other areas of this basket um, to try to free this so I know what I'm working with without ripping any parts off. So I'm going to use this little grinder deal to try to cut these a little bit. Oops. Do not start your staghorn fern on fire. Okay, so it turns out we actually had like wire cutters that work just fine on that. So rather than light my kitchen and the plant on fire anymore, I just cut that basket away. And I'm actually now soaking it just a touch to try to just loosen those rules, those roots up. Um, they don't really love that treatment, but it's not going to love any of this treatment. So we just have to get through that. Now, what I have here is more sphagnum moss than any human should have. I bought this tiny little brick and I unwrapped it. It was a you know, compressed dried out thing. And I stuck it in a bowl and added water. And now I have enough sphagnum moss to do. Well, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with all this sphagnum moss, but what I bought it for was to line this basket. Cause obviously we have to line the basket. So we are going to use, um, this giant mound of sphagnum moss that I have here to line this basket before we put the plant in there. Anybody know what I can do with a lot of moss? Okay. I'm going to just put my little moss pile to the side there. Okay. Now I want to see how this plant is going to just fit in here to try to get an idea for what, what we need to do. So I was hoping to be able to break this apart a little bit. These roots are so tight on there, but they're just, they're just not budging. And I feel like anything I do is going to cause more harm than good. Cause it's just, it's just all roots in there. So, Set that aside on our little moss mountain there for a second and uh, get some soil in here. I'm going to use two things. I'm going to use an orchid mix, which is mostly bark and a little bit of cactus mix. So what I read suggests that we should do like a base of this sort of barky medium here. I think I might be way overdue on repotting this. Although when you see giant staghorn ferns at um, like Longwood has one and the Naples Botanical Garden has one, 
these things aren't repotted. They just become their own mass. And somewhere in there is some piece of metal that connects to giant chains that hang them. So I'm sort of hoping that's what will happen here. Like this is the last time I'll have to do this. And this whole, it will just envelop this whole pot, which of course will rot away at some point. And hopefully I just never have to do this again. The next thing we're going to do is take some cactus mix and just work that around in these, in these holes. All right, I think I've got the soil pretty much packed in around that. Um, but unfortunately in the process, I've sort of kind of jammed some of the sphagnum moss around there. So I'm going to fill in the edges here with just a little bit more sphagnum moss. Since I have plenty of it, that shouldn't be an issue. So I did tuck in some sphagnum around the edges and then I did just quickly moisten this. Um, this is way more water than this plant wants at one time. So right now it's very heavy. Um, I just want to make sure that that soil that I put in there that was bone dry, I just didn't want that like sucking all the moisture out of it or creating a funny air pocket. So we're good. I won't have to water this for a couple of weeks at least. So now I just have to put the hanger on. So I guess my plan is to care for this exactly how I have been when it was in its other pot. And by the way, I have always grown this stag horn in a pot rather than mount it to a board um, because I just never could quite grasp like how long you had to wait when you took that off the wall before you hung that back up on the wall again and like didn't like create mold on your wall. The basket has always worked fine for me as long as it's a, you know, essentially an open basket. This hangs uh, in an east facing window um, for winter when it's inside and in summer it hangs um, underneath our per on the bottom side of our pergola on our east facing deck. Uh, and it seems to do pretty well there. I mean, it's in, you know, it's in a shadier spot there. It's not getting full sun, a little bit of full sun, but not a lot. And it seems to do pretty well. I water it um, about maybe, you know, once, once a week, once every two weeks, something like that. And in summer, I do on occasion give it a little bit of fertilizer. Um, and the fertilizer I use for it is just a little bit of seaweed, liquid seaweed feed. Um, and that's all I've ever done for it. I'm not sure if I'll leave this hanger on it either. I might do something that's slightly more appealing looking like chain or something. I don't know. Okay, so this is my new staghorn fern pot. Hopefully the last one it ever has to go in. We'll see. Um, I am going to let this sit in this basket for a little bit and just generally dry out a little bit before I go try to hang it. I don't know. I like the way it looks and I hope it likes its new home. Mm -hmm.